Hi everyone, welcome to the second episode where I'm covering how to use Tranchess. In today's episode, we're going to look at how to lock the chess token. So there, there are three major benefits for locking chess. First is that you get to vote on the interest spread that rook holders pay bishop holders. You get a weekly rebate, which comes from 50% of protocol income in the form of BNB, ETH, and BTCB. And you can speed up earning of chess tokens from staking queen, bishop, and rook. So Tranchess's protocol income comes from a few sources, fund management fee and the split merge fee. 50% of protocol income is given out to all users who lock chess on Tranchess. So I'm on the Tranchess front page right now, and I'm going to switch over to the staking tab. So uh, here you can see stake volume, uh, current chess rewards from staking. Um, but from here, we want to be looking at this tab, the lock chess for more rewards. So if you're seeing this, you need to switch over to this tab. So by locking chess, users can speed up their chess earning from staking queen, bishop, or rook. And this works for all funds, the BNB, the ETH, BTC. Uh, the more that users lock their chests, the higher the boost factor they achieve. So here you can see uh, the boost factor on each of these funds. Uh, it's at 1x, but this could be uh, leveraged up to 3x. So now we're on the staking, fa we're on the staking tab. We want to go over to lock chess. And on here, uh, you specify the amount of chess that you want to lock, and then can specify the lock duration. So you can click on these settings here, and this is specifying how long that your token is going to be locked up for. You notice that the longer you set it, the bigger the boost factor you get. And you can see how that changes the APR on your current uh, staked rewards and impact that will have on your estimated uh, rebates that you get each week, as well as the impact on your voting power, because the longer you stake, the more VCHS you get, the more voting power you have. Um, but before I set this, I wanna show, um, if you click the simulate your staking strategy, now this page is, uh, allows you to simulate what your potential yield would be, uh, depending on how much you, uh, you stake. So you could put in uh, whatever amounts you want, and you could, it would show your share of the staking rewards um, and your boost factor. And you can see that depending on how much, um, how long you stake for, and how much chess that you lock, the uh, your boost factor will increase up to a maximum of 3x. Uh, same if you extend the number of weeks, you'll also see that your boost factor increases and your chess earning per day will increase. So now you can use this as a reference to figure out what your earnings would look like at different amounts. So now I'm going to go back to locking chess. I'm going to input the amount of chess that I want to lock, specify a duration, and here I can see the impact on my staking amount and V chess. Now I have to approve the chess token. Confirm that transaction in MetaMask. All right, now that transaction has been confirmed. So now I click lock chess. This is telling me how long I'm committing to lock these funds up. So once confirmed, the lock period can only be extended, not shortened. Um, and uh, so I am committing to keeping my chess locked up for, until this time. So now I'm gonna hit yes, continue to lock. Confirm that transaction in MetaMask. 
All right. So now uh, my chest has been locked up. I can see how long it's going to be locked up for, see how much weight I have for voting, um, and the boosts I have on my currently staked um, uh, BNB fund and BTC B fund. And here, if I wanted to, I could lock more chests, or I could extend the duration of my current lockup. All right, that's all for now. I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you in part three.